Bone scintigraphy is a radiological examination for the assessment and diagnosis of fractures, inflammation skeletal diseases, orthopedic and rheumatologic pathologies, as well as detection of cancer lesions and bone metastasis. With recent techniques, it is also possible to combine a CT scanner with a bone scintigraphy camera for better localization of certain lesions. Hello. Good morning. I have an appointment for a bone scintigraphy. Yes, of course. First, you'll need to fill out this form. Can you please Good. wait in the waiting room? A lab assistant will come to get you. Fine, thank have you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Nothing special needs to be done before the examination. You don't have to abstain from eating or drinking. If you're a woman, you must let us know if you are pregnant or if you notice some delay in your periods. Or if you are breastfeeding, it will not be necessary to interrupt any medical treatment you may be following. You'll first receive an injection, then return three hours later for imaging, which will take about one hour. That's fine. A small dose of radioactive substance called the tracer will be administered to you by intravenous injection before the examination. This radioactive substance circulates in the blood and will fix itself to the bone structures. It reveals biological bone activity, also known as metabolic activity. It allows, therefore, to detect areas of abnormal activity within the skeleton. In some specific cases, it is possible to take preliminary images while the injection is being applied. After injection, a three-hour waiting period is necessary for appropriate uptake of the tracer in the bones. You will be asked to drink a lot of liquid during this time and to empty your bladder as often as possible in order to eliminate any residual tracer that is not attached to the bones. Are you familiar with this examination? No. Have you ever had one before? Never. Okay, so this examination is painless, but it takes some time. You need to remove your shoes, pants and coat, as well as all of your jewellery, your watch, your rings, etc. Please come in. Thank you. This is the machine I mentioned this morning. The patient lies on the gamma camera table during the examination. It will come very, very close to your face without touching it. Be sure to keep your head straight. It is important to remain completely still while the detector scans you from head to toe in order to have a complete skeletal image of your whole body. I can see and hear you. Just let me know if there is any problem. The gamma camera detects the radiation emitted by the injected tracer, which enables us to create an image of your skeleton. We've just completed the first part of the examination. We'll now go on to the second part. The camera will rotate around your body. More detailed additional images can be done after the preliminary images of the entire skeleton have been acquired. After analysis of the initial studies, complementary scan imaging can be done to get detailed anatomical pictures of specific portions of the bones and skeleton. This allows to better localize lesions seen on the whole body images. Superimposing images from both examinations enables a more precise diagnosis and more accurate detection of lesions. Bone scintigraphy is completely painless and the camera makes no particular noise. Following the waiting period after injection, the examination itself takes approximately one hour. There you go. The examination's over. How did it go? Very well, thank you. Processing the images before the specialist analyzes them takes some time. They will then be sent to your referring doctor. The radiologist will review the images and results and will dictate his report. Full body bone scintigraphy with SPECT CT indication. The results are sent directly to the referring doctor who prescribed the examination. Do not hesitate to ask our staff any questions you might have. As a general rule, there are no particular precautions needed following the examination.